Buongiorno e benvenuti. Welcome to Art Yoga Pills with me, your host, Dinni. In this space we will connect and share together about creativity, inner child and self-awareness. Siete pronti? Enjoy! Ciao a tutti, chi è ora and welcome to this new episode of Art Yoga Pills. In this space today, I would like to share with you my side of the story about a journey too. And so in order to do that, I had to record myself while I was reading from the blog. And it was quite interesting because this is supposed to be a podcast, but somehow while I was reading, I was sounding like an audiobook. And I guess this happened because lately I had to take on board some boring tasks to keep on self-sustaining myself during this journey. Although art yoga is my main passion and I want to contribute to life with that, not always is allowing me to be financially stable. And so to keep on growing in this journey, I had to take on board some tasks that are not exactly my favorite, but they allow me to pay my rent, pay my bills and my food. (laughs) And I would say especially my food because to me it's the most important part. And doing that sometime, I noticed that I get stuck into loops, negative spirals, where I drag myself down with constant question of what am I doing here? Why am I doing this to myself? And I'm investing so much time and energy towards this uh, baggage that doesn't allow me to grow. And so I decided to find a different way to be engaged to this um, task And instead of triggering myself, I decide to empower myself by listening to podcasts and audiobooks that keep on inspiring me and um, allowing me to be engaged with something mentally uh, interesting while with my body I'm performing those tasks. And so in this um, time, I had the possibility of listening to different people from different backgrounds and different stories. And defining also from their sharing, what is my way that I wish to contribute to that as well? And at the same time, finding through that, which is the best approach for me? Do I like better when I'm improvising or do I like better when I'm reading? And this is what I'm asking you as well. Do you like more when I'm reading or when I'm improvising? But I guess that to define that in this new chapter of my life, it's also best just to try and give it a go and see which is the best way while I'm actually in the path itself without stopping me um, to do something because I'm afraid of it. And so I simply try and see how I can grow from this experience while I'm defining um, along this path what I like and what I want to do. Um, in order to improve myself in this. And so this uh, new chapter, this new step of a journey too, will be narrated by myself to you as a way of keep on inspiring you and trying to notice along this way, along this um, uh, audio, if there will be something, some insight that come alive to you as well. And you might recognize yourself in this uh, sharing, perhaps with something that you are experiencing currently in your life, or even uh, arise or bring you uh, back some memories about something that you experienced in the past, or maybe even something that is yet to come, but you might noticing that is just there, possibly in front of you somewhere along your own journey. And so I hope you will enjoy this next uh, episode and enjoy the listening. Buon ascolto! Every small step in the right direction counts. Our art and yoga afternoons began quite randomly 
as simple and unplanned as our friendship. At the end of 2019, a dear friend of mine was on holiday for a few months and he gave me free access to use his hut whenever I wanted to. At the beginning, I was only going there to water his plants until one day I invited Julia over and somehow his space turned out to be our first playground. Julia and I were both working at a yoga retreat in Auckland, New Zealand, where we also used to live. Straight after work, around 4 p.m., our meeting became a regular opportunity for us to enjoy our time free from any kind of worries. The perfect occasion to co-create and share positive feelings, childhood memories and life dreams Since we were both working in key roles in the office environment, we didn't want to be stuck even after our working hours in any sort of complaint conversation or reviewing our list of responsibilities for the following day. Our spontaneous gatherings were born from the desire to escape from this very day-to-day routine as a good chance for us to chill without problems or bad feelings involved. It felt like we were back to our after-school time, when you know that your job for the day is finished and you don't have to worry about it until the next day. Because of modern society, we always have the persistent sensation to keep running non-stop, run from morning until late night, run to work, run to compete, run to fit in, run to never be late. But late for what? Run to go where? What is the purpose of being constantly stressed? This is what we started asking ourselves, and sharing this quality time together made us realize that it is never too late to start enjoying life with simple action that make us feel fulfilled without a sense of guilt. Our afternoons were designed for Julia and I to completely enjoy. Our main ingredients were a wide range of colors, our notebooks, a different playlist based on our mood of the day, and of course, popcorn. It didn't take us too long to realize that this enlightening afternoon could become a great opportunity to share this valuable knowledge of how to return to our inner self, diving into a journey through our senses and awareness with a larger group of friends So this is how our our yoga begins, a blend of non-judgmental friends sharing their love for coloring, supporting one another and acceptance of ourself as a whole. Thank you. Dini. Grazie per averci fatto compagnia. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. If you wish to stay updated and connected, visit us on our social media channels and our website www.artyoga.co Ci sentiamo presto! Ciao!